guys, Cindy out of here with my artsy endeavors. I just got this crazy idea, and I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to try it. Um, these are my um, drop papers that were on my desk. And actually, ever since we moved, I've been looking for my mat again, and I couldn't find Well, I found I just found it. So, But I got this really crazy idea. I just took these, and I kind of folded them all up just into a little square. And same with this one. This one was underneath the other one. So I just folded it up into this square. And yeah, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something really crazy. Right now it's just all folded up, but this is what I'm going to do. I am going to sew these two together. And I, this is just gonna be like a little junk play journal, okay? So I'm not worried about you know, exact measurements, that kind of stuff. I am just going to sew them together. So I thought, what the heck, I'll turn on my camera. Right? Okay, this one looks like it's got an eye big enough I can see. That's the problem with sewing. It's not doing it. It's that I can't see to thread the needle. And of course, this is a mess. You know, why wouldn't it be? Let me bring you guys in. So let's see if I can find an end or a piece long enough, which, you know what, we're going to, we got it right there. Okay. So this is way too long, but that's okay. And basically all we need is about that much. All right. So I was thinking about this and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to sew this together. And then I'm just going to use scissors to cut it. So let me think. Um, I'm going to have to go like this. There's one. And I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll find out, right? My second hole. Down to my third hole, which is around here somewhere. Come on. There's my third. So if this doesn't work, oops, oh well. Let's see. Back into my first hole. Alright. So all I did is just a real quick, um, just a quick stitch to hold it together, right? So now I'm just going to tie a knot in it. Another knot. This one I'm going to double do, and then it stays. There we go. So I just tied them together. So let's see if I can make this into a book. All right, so right now I just have these pieces. But what I thought I could do is, A, I can go through and I can cut this end off, right? This may or may not work. Like I said, I don't know. We're just trying something. I probably could do this with a paper cutter, but it's kind of thick, so I really wanted to just do it with scissors. All right, so there's one. So what that's going to do is it's going to make them all individual sheets, right? Yeah! So now... Make sure. Oh, this one didn't cut, so we're going to have to cut this one. So let's just do this for this one. Probably could have done this for all of them, but that's okay. Alright. Now, I'm going to cut off the top part. Do I need to? I've got to cut off the sides too. This side's fine, so I got to cut off these sides. So let's do this first. What, Abby? Abby's over here bonking on my leg. She comes up and she headbutts me. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but what? What's up, Abadoo? So I cut the ends off. So now I'm just going to cut the top. And again, this is just a book to play with. It's not, not going to be a masterpiece, but hey, what the heck. Look at this. Look at all these backgrounds. How cool is that? 
another one. Background, some stuff I wrote on it. All right, so let's cut the end. That one's done. Okay, this one needs cut right there. I mean, I can take these, I can, you know, either rip stuff out or I can just use this as a book. doesn't really matter. Right, let's cut this one off. And I'm just taking a very little bit off the end of them just to open up the pages. This one needs to be cut. What, Abby? I don't know what my cat wants. I'm just going to cut off the end of this again. Okay, now this one has to go to this end. Cut it off. So that end is good, that end is good. And look at there. We have ourselves a drop paper book. Now, I should have shown you how I folded this. I didn't really fold it in any special way. I just folded it in half and kept folding it in half until it came up into a kind of a little square. And yeah, look at that. We have ourselves a small drop paper junk journal. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this beside me and then as I work, I'll use this to do wipe off and add extra paint and stuff on. Oops, there's another one that's not done. See, some of these may not... Here, let's see what we got here. That one's done, that one's done, this one's not. Let's cut this one. Cut? Nope. We'll cut this one. This must have been the bottom of the book. Where did that guy come from? Nope, this one's not cut, so we'll cut this one. And then I'm just going to go through this one more time and make sure I've got them all. Alright, so now let's... And it really doesn't matter how you fold it. I mean, this is technically the outside of the spine, but it doesn't really matter. So let's go through it one more time and make sure we have everything. Two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I love this. Look at these edges. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. So it's like thirty pages. Yeah, so um, don't just throw out your drop papers. Um, fold them up, and I, I don't know, I just got this crazy idea that, hey, I could sew these together and have a really cool little book. And here it is. And all of my pages are cut. So just a quick short video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I will talk to you soon. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them for you. And as always, thanks for watching. Have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.